All right, this is my first M3 tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a shakuhachi-esque flute sound. Um, what gives it its characteristic is um, the overblown fifth in the beginning. I'll show you how to make it on both the MMT and the EDS engines. Um, so let's go to just a blank patch. Um, this is the uh, this is the um, radius engine, and we're going to want it to start out with a triangle wave for the oscillator, and let's raise that an octave. Let's see, and I forgot to route my MIDI. There we go, and I also forgot to route the M3 to my channel. Might as well do it for the bass too. Okay. Anyway. Um, so we have a triangle waveform and uh, for the filter, um, we're gonna end up using individual cause we'll add some noise, but start off with a high pass filter and uh, get rid of that low end. Cause flutes don't really have low end. And I like to add a little bit of drive. Um, and then to create that overblown fifth sound, we'll use a um, polyphonic mod sequencer and have it on step affecting pitch at plus seven. And uh, the resolution we want to be pretty fast. Um, for the patching, we're going to want to use LFO2 to affect both the um, the amp and the pitch. And we want that to subtly come in over time. So we'll have uh, envelope generator 3 affect patch 2 intensity. And uh, we'll also have envelope generator 3 affect um, patch 5 intensity. If you don't have the uh, the radius update, this actually won't work. So you'll need to get that. There's a thread on it. Okay. So uh, let's add some attack to that. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, that sounds nice. Okay. Let's also add just a little bit of attack and release. Okay. Um, now we're going to want uh, key tracking to affect noise level. And this is, this is just going to be for the, the high notes. So, and now let's go to the filter. Let's have a bandpass filter. Also, don't really want the noise. Well, I wanted to like kind of like have like a chiff sound. So let's have um, envelope generator one affect uh, noise level. All right, almost running out of patches here. That's good that we have extra two patches on the M3. Okay, so let's have noise level. And uh, let's see what this sounds like. Yeah, so it gives it just that like little burst of air in the beginning. It's really nice. Um, and uh, I think that'll conclude the flute patch. Oh, you know what? I think, yeah, we want the LFO. Just a little bit slower, first of all. And then second of all, let's have it on um, uh, key sync on each note. Oh no, a little bit faster than that. So you can hear how it like. 
Each note gets its own vibrato and tremolo. Okay, so let's write that. We'll call it flute one. Enter. Okay. And then let's go to the EDS engine. Um, oscillator, you're going to want to choose single wave. And I like the MG3 wave. It's not as clean as the radius, and it's um, it's like uh, I don't know. It's it the low notes sound bad, but whatever. All right, uh, put the offset pretty low at like 38, because Korg normalize their samples to like minus three dBF. Uh, for the pitch of that oscillator, let's put it up two octaves, so it's an octave above the radius, um, and then. We can just use, uh, let's go to the filter section now. Uh, we'll go to high pass filter. It can be uh, two pole. And let's see what this sounds like. Oh, that's not the right oscillator. All right, for some reason, I don't know why I've been running into that glitch. Okay, let's go back to single wave. And uh, let's go back to MG3. And let's go back to my filter. That's good. And let's add a uh, little bit of drive to that. That sounds nice. Okay. Um, let's go back to pitch. Set the pitch envelope. Not that one. Go back to normal. Okay, whatever. All right. And uh, let's have the decay be like super short and ha even have the curve be like really sharp. Uh, attack time can be a little bit longer. And um, when we go to pitch, let's have an effect plus seven for that overblown sound. Let's hear that. Perfect. Okay. Um, Let's have the LFO on a sine wave and we'll give it a little bit of lag, a little bit of fade, key sync it, and have it affect both the pitch and the amplitude. So, so it gives it that same kind of sound. And uh, yeah, it's pretty lovely. Okay, let's write that. Call that flute two. And hit enter. All right, now let's layer that in a combi. So we'll find our patches. Um, this was generic trans. All right. Where is it? Is it that flute too? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. I saved it elsewhere and I just, okay. Uh, so let's go to flute one. Okay. So those are both our flute patches. Let's make sure that they're on the same MIDI channel. Route them to the global channel because that's what I'm transmitting on. And uh, let's just turn this one off. And let's throw them both through the, just the regular hall reverb algorithm. Okay, so. Okay, all right, that's done. Uh, let's, uh, let's hear what that sounds like. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's a pretty nice sound. Um, yeah, so hopefully that is a nice sound uh, for you, and you can, like, karmify that and do whatever the hell you want. Okay, later.